you didn't see that coming. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was... It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages. in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose...
We're not to move. Oi! You there! But don't just pass me by! You handy, of course you are. Bet you're a... Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Chocobos. You heard me right. And not just any... Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest bird... Chocobos. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang... Oh, go on, then. <sighs> There's a good... Where can I find... I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scout you save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird, and don't worry. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. Feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. Not around here, they weren't. Huh? Because she's something of a hero and you hurt her. It's off. All right then.
You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? A flock. Oi! I thought I'd come and see how you would get. Oh, you sorted the bastards then, and the whole flock. Thankfully, they did. Never stopped to think our hero here. Uh, though I dare say she'd suit if I reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her. Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. Well. Oh no, sorry, sorry, I I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter. What is it, girl? She wants her master back. Told you, and it seemed. Is that it? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. Oh. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. Ah, a few scraps of leather's a very... Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. Don't you worry, we'll get it. You hear that, White Heart? You've earned just... Hmm, you seem... That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Sit. And yeah, best be on my way. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Faster.
Let's go. Fly Ambrosia. Where's Gav? And what can I do for you? If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Ah, Clive! How oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words be ruled, pal Gav? <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Ironholm. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that, then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. 
My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? What are we waiting for indeed? I think it's all right to touch him.
long now, Martel. Sid, I, I am... Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just... well... It's good to know there's something of the old hideaway. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. I took it on, you see, after she... well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the... Impressive. And welcome you. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse. You couldn't take them some, could you? It'll be nice being the bearer of good news. Oh, she always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had them... Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Mathers, all right. Martell. Now, where have I heard that now? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Please help. Those up. She'd have been proud. A gift. Blimey, these take me back. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach. He'd nab them right from the branch. Made Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad. That sounds like the Sid I... Planning on keeping that lot to... Hang on. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over. <sighs> What's that? Well... I've got... You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their... Sh that was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. People of Valisthea are going through a lot already. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So then perhaps I can.
Perhaps they're old enough to listen. And you say Sid built this place? Well, one can't really build what's been lying around for several thousand years. But it was his idea we claimed to fly around. Break. They were clearly very. F they remembered. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to wreck. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything, really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? Say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself.
I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can, and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing we're loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. It would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? All right. I heard you the first time. Welcome, stranger. Are you well? Excuse me, but what was all that about? You haven't heard. Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they, Chest? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. 
You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arsene of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. How'd you get it? But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least up? I don't know who you are, or what brings you here. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will... This village will not become another... E then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fit. Are you all right? So we still don't know who the Black Shields are looking Well, whoever they are, but other than Martha, who else in Rosary would... A new ally would certainly be welcome. Perhaps the next village will you... Perhaps. Good girl. Oh. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Ever since the old tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? The mother crystals collapse? Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to like it.
run like the wind. More of my mother's men. Give me thunder! <laughs> Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay... The Black Shield. You know who we are. And still... Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have... To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield, Vesaria.
Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> They await you in... Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. something, boy. Death. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. And I will end it. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south... They may already be in Port Isolde. We're approaching the bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Fly, Ambrosia! Back to the stables, girl. Uh. 
I did, Mummy. I could hear him shouting from down the road. Hatch, no. You didn't hear nothing. They tell us there's a curfew, but then refuse us to pass it back to the Passage to the provincial capital is restricted to Imperial Army personnel. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Uh, I'm hungry. Good girl. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. We should start with the main gates and see where that gets us. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Let us pass! My children are starving! Have mercy! chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crew. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the... If you're sure. And the entire place looked... Do you think it's safe? As long as it is... The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. its luster. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Ah! Oh. 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 Ah!
I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. <laughs> we can speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But... We've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. <sighs> you mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense, even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster.
What is it you require? Our thanks, my lord. I'm sure that it will prove useful. Our thanks, my lord. I will be here should you need aught else. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge, sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians. The Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surround. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge, with while the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we... How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. But until we arrived, that was your plan. So wait. The bearers from all dead are... Very good. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. There is but one thing which will putting an end to And so we... Listen to the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Yeah! your command, my lord. What is it now? We bear a message for the Vicerine. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of fil- could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Die along- Forasaria! Forasaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Bloody hell! Reinforcements from the far bank! Another wife had to fight their battle for them. Here we go. 
aren't taking any chances. I can't say I'm flat. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point, that this land is in dire need of cleansing. I don't see any more. It did. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the color. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss. She'll move swiftly to see her minions rank. And then it will all... I often wonder if the nation we once knew her fields rot. We battled to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, yet be that as it may, it is still our. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our, and her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard fly. So wait, I... Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends re- A sound strategy. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades? Since the beginning. Lord Byron, and had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd. where he would be of no use to. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, 
He plays the part of the law. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrong. I might have something which could help. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it and those... I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell, that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> oh, you always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? 
Since becoming Viceroyne, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Why then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. Become a monster. Jill.
I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Bendemir is long, and there is much to tell the others. would await us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. I didn't take you for a s- Oh, this? Please. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be- <laughs> Think I'll- oh, Where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your salt from spit roasts to sweetmeats. This book has them all. <sighs> if it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first tunnel, but you're made of sterner stuff. Something tells me you won't be taking... Fantastic! So... Uh, chances stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, a beast, no doubt, most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violet. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout at roses. One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. Every day. Same way Not enough swords to see to them. Clive! Is something wrong? It's Blackford, and if I'm honest, he ain't been. Normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but. Not this time. Something's getting him down. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? Fine. I knew you'd. But if he doesn't want to talk. We let him be. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll wait a bit, then...
months has taken quite a lot. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Go on, then. You'll not find a better price than that. First August. And what's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on. I thought you might want to... <laughs> I told you not to stick your... Clive just wants to help, innit? Talk to him. You never know, you might... Please, mate. <sighs> it's not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all this... Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and art. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level. <sighs> Made my stuff look... Should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach there, you got what you came for. All right. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like, I didn't think anything could rattle him. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Something tells me this is only going to get... If he has doubts, it will affect his work. I couldn't agree... He said he should have bought that cuirass. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right, I am. Glad to hear it. First... Karen. Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way it... But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summit. You don't know where we might find it. Like I said... He's a bit... I don't trust hunters, neither. Which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working... I see. He did tell me some... Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffins. Here! There's a griffin on the hunt board! The curse breakers were... Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek. Thank you, Karen. At least you... So... It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best... I'll leave the hunt into you if you don't... While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out. Good idea. Hopefully.
Good day to you. Ambrosia won't help me here. Faster! 